This is uh, the wood gas generator that I have created and uh, we were able to successfully run this for several hours. So let me show you some of the key components here. So obviously we have 231 gallon gallonized garbage cans. These are ordinary garbage cans you can get from Home Depot. And onto each of these garbage cans we've put a four inch collar. And uh, on the out to seal this, we have used a fire block caulking material that I also got from Home Depot. So this is the reactor side, and this is the filter side. So looking at the reactor, the reactor is basically uh, constructed out of a uh, a stainless steel uh, thermos, which is what is this central cylinder is. You can see it's like double walled and it has like a one inch opening at the bottom. And below that we've just hung a steel mixing bowl that we've basically drilled a lot of holes into. And then hung by these three chains which we have uh, riveted in and we have sealed the holes. And that's basically everything that's inside of the reactor side here. And then we just connected it with a simple 20 foot uh, ordinary dryer duct. So we ran this for about maybe two, maybe three hours, and uh, it's uh, still fairly clean on the on the inside. This brown stuff is is tar buildup. But this is where we want the tar to be in our in our system, and not in the filter side. Let's go take a look at the filter. So this is the filter side. So on the top here, uh, I have a valving system here. So uh, the the this valve here controls whether this is actually sucking gas out of the filter. So when I flip it this way, you know, open, that will allow the, the filter gases to go to the output here. And, and this is connected to a hose that, which runs directly to the engine. And uh, when we're starting up, uh, the way I would start up is that my engine has a fuel cutoff valve. So what I would do is I would initially run the engine off of gasoline and then I would shut off the gasoline and then the engine will run for about uh, maybe 30 seconds uh, before it runs out of gasoline and then at that point I would use this valve here I would open it up I would open it up full full like that and then um, I would put my hand over it just to partially cover it and what I had to do is I had to kind of nurse it through the transition between running on gasoline and running on wood gas. So I'd give it just enough oxygen to just keep it going. But at some point, it would get enough wood gas to run smoothly. Then I would completely cover it up and then lock this valve shut. Because it basically didn't need any extra oxygen uh, to combust. And it ran really well uh, with no additional oxygen. So some other oxygen must have been getting into the system as the reactor worked. So what's in, in the filter here though, is I've got a, a filter pad that I got from Fred Myers. This is just like a, this is like a 24 by 48 inch, one inch foam pad. So I just cut two filters, two circles of filter out of there and I, I put oil, just regular motor oil on it. And beneath that, we have a whole lot of, uh, this like Aspen pine shavings I got from Petco and that acts as the uh, filter medium. And underneath the, the filter medium, I put like there's a one quarter inch uh, hardware cloth on the bottom there that holds the chips off from the, from the bottom so that you get a good airflow there. And that's really all to it. And like I said, we were able to run our generator successfully off this thing for several hours. And the generator, uh, was unharmed. Uh, there didn't seem to be very much uh, tar making its way all the way through the system to the engine. So it was a success.